Since the Easter Bunny didn't leave me any presents this morning, I thought I'd do a little bit of shopping this morning and try on some jackets. I'm here at the Arteric store in Lion's Head with Josh Headley, and he's been schooling me on these luxury technical items that really, they last a lifetime, have a lifetime warranty on them, and very durable and wonderful products you have here today. And what j jackets would you recommend th to show us? <laughs> so today I picked out a couple items that I think would be great for some spring layering since we're starting to get into some warmer weather. And specifically today I thought we'd talk about how to compress mm -hmm. different things in the store. So we got a question a couple weeks ago of, I heard all your garments get really small. How do I make my jacket, my mid layers, small so they can fit in my backpack? So as we're going out hiking in warmer weather, cold in the morning, start with your layers, take them off and you can keep going. So I picked out a couple new items that we just got into the store. Um, the first one here is our Zeta LT jacket for women. Um, Gore-Tex C-knit liner to make it lighter and more breathable. Um, fully waterproof hiking or trekking jacket. And we've got a Cerium LT, which is one of our staple down pieces. And then one of our Adam LTs, which is our probably most popular synthetic mid-layer. Um, so I guess getting into how to compress certain items, we can start with our Atom here because it's probably the most popular item in the store, but it's really quite easy. And what you're going to want to do is unzip your coat and then find that shoulder seam. And once we find that shoulder seam, you really are just going to start rolling it into the shoulder. And so I've are you stepping it into the sleeve? Yes. So from that shoulder seam gives you a really nice starting point and an area to grab, and the whole jacket will fold in like that. And if you get really good at this, you can actually make a little tail and lock it in like that. So you end up with either a small camp pillow or something a little bigger than a pop can that will fit inside your backpack. And that seems fantastic for traveling as, you know, people are trying to use the smaller luggages so that they don't get charged extra. What a great companion trip for Yeah, absolutely. Traveling. It works great for a carry-on bag. It works great for a backpack. So if you're either out trekking or just trying to get from A to B and need something really small, it fits just like that. And then when you get wherever you're going to go, oh, the whole right. thing comes right back out and you're ready to wear. So now, moving into some of the down garments, we've got a much bigger, puffier jacket here. Yeah. But inside all the left pockets of our down jackets, there is a bag and you can put your whole jacket in that little bag. Exactly. Wow. So this one requires a tad bit more effort well, you're a pro than Josh, the Adam. Uh, <laughs> I try you can my, do it. I try my hardest. But if we keep kind of pushing those down feathers in there, we will end up with a nice little sack. I don't know if I'm going to get this one today. You're getting it. Go, Josh. From a pro, we're learning here today <laughs> how to compress jackets. Yep. So, again, if you're out camping or maybe going into some variable weather where you don't exactly know the temperature that you're going to run to, or if you just got to pull something in and out of your carry-on bag, so now your big puffy jacket ends up in just a little ball. Fantastic. Good gotta, job, gotta Josh. Thank you. Got a tether lock on there, too, so if you're, say, climbing or hiking and need to keep it somewhere easy, clip it on your belt. Awesome, great um, job. Yeah, thanks. Well, you were saying that all this store is going to be changing up this next week. A yes. lot of the winter items are going to be going away. Mm -hmm. So you want to come in right now and get some of these um, bigger items. Yeah, because absolutely. Because all the new spring stuff will be in the store real soon. Mm -hmm. So what are your hours this week? Um, right this week we're 8 to 6. And next mm -hmm. week we change 10 to 5. So we're trimming down, getting ready for summer here. And then, like you said, we'll be flipping over to all spring items starting this week. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Josh, for giving us a compression lesson. <laughs> Stay tuned for the last bit of our Good Morning Vale show.